Yo! Yo, 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 yo. Hey, ho. Hey, yo. Happy Thursday, everybody. Welcome. Welcome in. Wee! I'm really hot fixer. Top of the morning. Top of the morning to you, my friend. Hello. God, that's a long message. Folks, we're celebrating a huge, huge day today. Lil Kaza. Lil Kaza in the chat. I'm pretty sure is the first. The first two-year subscriber to the channel. And has subscribed for a year straight. Can we get some massive claps all around? And huge salutes. That was incredible. The stream has changed so much. Yes, it has. Here's some more time where I pay you to be my friend. Thank you for being my friend and thanks for paying me. It's hard work sometimes. It's hard work. Woo -wee. Wowza, dude. Thank you so much again for real. Thanks for the past year of support uh, straight. And then the year before that, the two, the two years. Thank you, man. Highly appreciate you. Jesus Christ. Mm. <laughs> no, stop. God damn it. Uh, oh, God. Thank you for. Thank you for the, the resub, Brushki. Appreciate you for that 5 -o, That five months there, friend. That five months. Folks, welcome. Happy Thursday. Welcome to Tesla Thursdays. Sorry, I was trying to say hello. I was trying to say hello to all, all the peeps here. Who did I miss? Alpha, hello. Aaron, Ao, welcome. Welcome. Jack, Alo. Enoch app. Oi, that's a new one. Hey, Enoch, my friend. Folks, if you like the starting screen, the video in the background, make sure you give a huge shout out to our friend Enoch App in chat. He made all those drone shots. If you're looking for some fancy drone shots to put in your anything, hit him up. Great guy. Good shots. Thank you for those. Local Canadian, welcome back. Cloud B! Saludi saludes. Nice to see you, my friend. Thanks for being here. Dr. Dynamite Oid. Oid? Yeah, hello. Welcome. Nice to see you, friend. Uh, him at him at a panda, him at a panda. Welcome, nice to see you. Thanks for being here. Uh, no, the stand up war should be there. <laughs> Raspberry Pi for a Tesla. You're about to find out, Marius. Welcome, thanks for being here. Little cause, thank you again, my friend. Appreciate you so much. Uh, I really like those shots. Yeah, they're they're freaking sick. They're they're really cool. I think they bring a lot to the stream. So, hit them up if you're looking for some drone shots. Oxygen, welcome. Ooh -wee. Mad props, mad props all around. Uh, Kevin, Rye, and uh, Nino Sawyer. Thank you for the follows, my friend. Welcome to the team. Glad to have you here. Ooh -wee. How do? Oh, gotcha, gotcha. How do? Thank you. <laughs> How do? <laughs> I was coming to tell him it's how to God Both Oh no Now I have two people in here That are gonna make fun of me Oh god <laughs> I try my best But I'm glad to learn Thanks for letting me know Docker is the stuff Docker is the stuff We're gonna be doing it today K Merc What's up Welcome Nice to see you all <laughs> Um, I'm just not I'm just not good Just not good at that I guess Folks Welcome to Tesla Thursday. Today's day four of our uh, our Tesla Thursday adventure. In case you're curious about what Tesla Thursday is, local Canadian, thanks for actually adding that in the chat. Feel free to type in today in chat. Um, essentially, Tesla Thursday is a time for us to uh, work on a new live streaming platform from inside a Tesla vehicle. 
Uh, today's the fourth day of, of that stream. Um, and we have a lot of fun stuff happening today. Probably going to be a lot of learnings and a lot of, I have no idea what I'm doing. Um, but also a lot of proof of concept today, trying to understand what, how this thing works, uh, how we can get things to happen. So thanks for being here today. And I hope you enjoy. Um, since we did stand up last time in the, uh, man, yeah, so we did stand up last time. We should probably just go to stand up today again. So when is the two year badge coming out? I know, dude, I, I didn't realize it was coming up so quick. What should we do, Lokaza, since you are the first two-year sub? How should we do this? You tell me what the badge should be, and we'll make it. And that will be the Lokaza badge. <laughs> do you want a picture of your face? <laughs> make a spend money. <laughs> yeah, send me to Fiverr so I can, I can go get someone to design this thing for me. Um, God. Little cousin's profile pic? Maybe, yeah. <laughs> That's a great description, Dynamite. I love that. I love that. Um, oh, I guess before, folks, a couple announcements before we get started today. Um, first off, first off, uh, Twitch for the next, uh, I think it's about month until August 8th, is doing something really cool where they're offering 20% off a first time subscription to any channel on Twitch. Uh, so that tier one sub, that five, uh, 499 USD, take 20% off of that. And that's gonna be your first sub to any channel on Twitch. Um, if you've never subbed on Twitch before and you're looking to support one of your favorite streamers, make sure you go and drop a sub on their channel sometime in the next month. Show them some love. You get an awesome discount. You get awesome emotes to use all around Twitch. And you get to support your favorite streamer. So make sure you go ahead and do that. Um, that'd be awesome. And uh, secondly, we are in the works. In the works of actually starting the Saturday stand-up. Uh, Saturday stand-up's a podcast stream that we're putting together. The first stream that we are doing with the Saturday stand-up is going to be August 15th. That is a Saturday. I'm really, really, really excited for it. Um, if you're interested to know who we'll, we will be talking to, you should head over to our Discord. I'm going to be making an announcement later this weekend. Um, and it's going to be a good time. Yes. It's going to be a good, good, good time. Dynamic Void, thanks for the follow. Woo! Uh, Versha, hey, where are you originally from? Uh, so I, my, I guess cultural or ethnicity is Armenian. Yes, I'm Armenian. Uh, okay, Mark, just watched the old 28 Day Project vids yesterday. Did you? <laughs> Yo, classics. Those are some good vids, man. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed. Lazy man's English, okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> Folks, let's go ahead and get started. We're going to head right over to the Sam, talk about what we did last week in Tesla Thursdays. I'll meet you right over there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Folks, welcome to the stand up. If this is your first time, uh, is your first time in our stand up room, stand up's a time for us to talk about what we did last Thursday on stream, what we plan on doing today, and if we're currently blocked by anything. Uh, and today we're talking about Tesla Thursday and uh, all the work that we did last week. Hey, Tune Dev, welcome. Oh, for the Saturday stand up? Yo, you, you probably, it's honestly not a bad idea. You, d you did come up with the name. I'm really excited for it. Uh, I will give you credit there. Make sure you clip that so you can keep that to use against me at some point in the future when I say you didn't actually create the name and I did. Just as a heads up. <laughs> um, folks, yes, and, uh, so I would love to know what you've been working on. Please post in chat anything that you've been working on, programming related, non-programming, for little, oh, whoa. Programming related or non-programming related. We'll love to have you here. Love to know what you're doing. So on day three, last week of Tesla Thursday, we started doing something pretty crazy. Uh, I bought a whole Raspberry Pi kit. We set that Raspberry Pi kit here up on stream. Uh, and if you were part of that stream last week, you saw uh, the struggles of, <laughs> of passwords and um, 
connecting things together. Uh, but we we used a thing called a Kana kit. It came with a nice little case. Put some heat sinks on it, a little fan in there. We set up uh, set up our Pi with an OS, and we finally got it logged in. I have it all set up in the spot that it's gonna live now, um, and we're able to SSH into this thing. So now that we got that all set up, today's stream is all about setting up Docker on a Raspberry Pi. Uh, and the reason why we want to do this is we want to compartmentalize a bunch of different servers into Dockerized containers, um, all within the Raspberry Pi, because we have a bunch of stuff going on there. We're going to be, be putting um, a few Node.js servers that are going to be running live applications. We're going to be putting... Um, like discord bots on there we're going to be putting uh rmtp server on there for our tesla and then we're finally going to be putting um some home automation stuff so today is a proof of concept on how we can get this thing going uh try to understand how it's going to work how do we use docker i don't know any of this stuff so we're going to do that today and we're going to learn it's going to be a good time Uh, Aaron, still working on translator service? Okay, sweet, sweet. Love it. Hope it's going well and going easy for you. I just got back from droning. Oh, beautiful. Hope you got some more shots. Uh, Lil Cause, I got my pilot's license last weekend. Holy moly, congratulations. That's actually freaking sick, man. Yeah, Amazeballs is right. <laughs> Local Canadian, uh, what OS did you, uh, did you set up? I ended up just using... Um, uh, Debian, just whatever the, or the Raspbian, whatever the, uh, the, the, like official one that, uh, comes with it. I forget the name of it right now. Thanks Dynamite. I will, <laughs> I will check it out. I'll put it in my, my learnings for later. <laughs> yes, Jack, we upgraded the office. You haven't been to the stand up, you know, COVID. We had to separate people out, separate people out. Oxygen currently working on uh, exporting sensor data from our platform. CSV is ready. Currently working on a PDF report with uh, day level granularity. Ooh, hell yeah. That's awesome. Beautiful. Isaac, welcome. Raspbian. Yep. Yeah, yeah. We, we put Raspbian on here. Um, the Kana kit was incredible. It came with a flashed uh, micro SD card already, and it literally just said, hey, which one do you want? We just set it up in the most basic Raspbian version because we're just using command line for everything. Um, and yeah, it's been, it's been great. Yes, Amari is correct. Yeah, Raspberry Pi OS. Because I was confused when I first saw it. Technically, it's called Raspberry Pi OS. Yep, yep. Thanks for that clarification. Uh, Oxen, also some open questions about my career have been resolved in the recent days. Big relief. We'll tell you later in time. You never know who else is reading chat. <laughs> sure, Oxygen. Glad to see that you got a relief though. Congrats. Uh, I want to start reading, reading, so I'm procrastinating by making an app to track my reading and remind me to read. <laughs> Beautiful. See that right there. If you're looking for a project, try to figure out something that you're trying to motivate yourself to do and build something around that. I love that. Great idea, Reshki. <laughs> Great idea. Hell yeah. Folks, thanks for being here on time for stand up. Thanks for being here for Tesla Thursdays. Let's go ahead and get it started. I'll see you over in the main room. What's up, a strange welcome? <laughs> nice. I love that. I love that idea. Uh, I'm contemplating moving home to my father. Oh, nice, Enoch. Well, I hope I hope if you do decide, I hope it goes well. Uh, and I hope uh, you enjoy time being with family, man. That's great. Uh, it's gone a bit bumpy. HubSpot sends some template stuff in their response by and I don't know how to render their widgets. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> the dreaded response bodies. You got this. It'll just, it'll just take a little bit of time to pound your head against the wall. That's it. Um, so before we actually get started with the pie, I wanted to go into some other stuff uh, for anyone here who's new to Tesla Thursdays. Um, pretty much, this is... The, the game plan, the problem that we're solving here. Uh, why are we even doing this, right? So one thing that I've really enjoyed doing is live streaming road trips across the United States. Uh, and I've done it twice so far. The first time was, was pretty good. The second time was not so good. 
And the reason was because of a lot of issues with cellular service and honestly just not having anything cool to show on the stream other than one camera angle outside the car. Uh, Gamansky, thanks for that follow. Welcome. So I wanted to figure out something to build to solve this problem. And so this is where Tesla Thursday was born. Um, pretty much what we've come up with was a bunch of different ideas from chat, a bunch of different ideas from, um, from myself as well. And really what we want to do is set up multiple camera angles inside of Tesla to stream to a, uh, to Twitch with a bunch of different cool features such as, um, adding overlays, adding things like car statistics, like what's the current speed that I'm going? Um, are we currently charging options to, uh, you know, redeem like volume control from chat, uh, cabin temperature stuff, uh, amount of battery left and things like where, where am I going directions and, and things like that. Uh, and the cool thing about Tesla's is that it's essentially a phone on wheels. <laughs> so we actually get a lot of access to a lot of that stuff. Um, so that's kind of the, the whole goal behind this. We spent a lot of time, a couple streams getting this done, getting this together. Uh, and so today we're going to go ahead again, start with, um, we're going to start with how, how to get a RMTP server up. Cause we're pretty much on this, the section of, we have about two or three GoPro set up within the car from the GoPro app. You're actually able to stream RMTP, uh, streams from your phone to a service. So the goal would be as we're driving, streaming the camera feeds from the GoPros to the RMTP server that's living, um, here. And then that would do a little bit of manipulation to put the video in the right spots, add some overlays, whatever, and then send it right over to Twitch. Uh, do you want the pie to be streaming it? Uh, no, so not, not necessarily. Essentially, we just want it to be a, a middleman, uh, or, or the gateway, right? To ingest the data that's coming to it and then sending it off to Twitch. Uh, when you go on the road trip, you need to play life is a highway in your <laughs> Good call, Jack. Good call. Uh, it's RTMP. RTMP. Am I saying RMTP? Really? Wait. Okay. Nice. Yeah. Thank you. Did I, did I spell it wrong? RTMP. RMTP. RTM. R real time. Real time messaging protocol. Re real time. Yes, real time, real time. Hey, Roars. Welcome back with foods. Ooh, yummy. Um, but yes, so that's what we're doing today. So essentially the goal is figure out how to set up, how to dockerize our Raspberry Pi, uh, set up some node servers on there. Um, I have a couple like bots that we can put on there and then um, essentially research what we need for a uh, RTM, RTMP server uh, to stream content to it and, and go from there. That'll be able to unlock us to move on to the next step of, hey, maybe we can actually like get a GoPro and see how that works. Um, and we'll go from there. Real message is good too. <laughs> Real messaging time protocol. I would agree. I would agree. All right. Let's do this then. So folks, what we're going to do is first, we're going to SSH into our Raspberry Pi. Let's see, I make this a little bigger. Let me know, is that, should this be larger? I think you can make that like that. Let me know if you want it larger. I think that's pretty good. Sagner, welcome back, my friend. Nice to see you. Uh, I've done it once uh, with the GoPro it has like two seconds of latency. Oh, cool. Yeah, that's not a big deal at all. Um, I mean, at the end of the day, the with things like OBS, we can uh, we can always like adjust latency, right? So not a huge deal. But thanks for that heads up. Finally, using the pie the correct way. Yes, we got it set up. We got it set up. Hoova, welcome. Uh, Docker Hub has a simple RTMP container setup thing. Beautiful. Beautiful. Um, yes. So let's, uh, that's actually really good to know. 
let's actually do this. Uh, so what I've already done is I've actually installed Docker on the Raspberry Pi. Um, and uh, yes, I think I ran Docker container run hello world. Uh, and then I was starting to look at how to actually Dockerize a node, node web app. Um, Cause I've never done this before. So we'll see. <laughs> Didn't share food. Yeah. If you're, if you're to bring food, you gotta bring it for the whole gang. All right. The whole team needs food. Thurs Thursday, thir I don't know, Thursday something. Uh, da -da 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 -da. All right, so let's do SSH, Alec. So our uh, our pie is called Pixel Pie. So and I made an account under there called Alec. SSH, Alec at pixelpie.local. Oh no. I almost did it again with the keyboard. I keep forgetting. Are you about to Dockerize Note? We're we're gonna we're gonna. Tea Party Thursdays, yes. Taco Thursdays. <sighs> Man, Taco F folks, it's been thirty days without Taco Bell. Just just as a heads up. All right, I always forget the keyboard. There we go. Just in case you're curious, there's absolutely no warranty. <laughs> so here we are. We're in Alec at Pixel Pie. We did it. We made it. 20 years without tacos. Oh, gas. Um, Lo Casa. So there actually is. There should be a redemption now. Uh, you should be able to see it. So I'm going to reject it. Uh, you should see now Stand Up Overlay. <laughs> FYI, I'm 20 years old. Thanks for the heads up. Thanks for the heads up. That's a good call, Kmark. I, I should. I should hold out. One of their biggest customers. <laughs> uh, d -d 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 Do you know Tuzzlemate? Installed it last week. Pretty nice. Might try to stream. Uh, Tried to stream myself with integrating this into my smart home. Ooh, I don't. Let's take a quick look at this real quick. Oh, data logger. Oh, damn. This is sweet, dude. Huh? Yo, totally. I have never seen this. Uh, I'm doing that. I'm currently working on a Tesla iOS app, uh, like widget thing. So this is actually pretty cool to get some integration from if possible. Nice. Thanks for that. Yeah. Self-hosted. They know, they know literally everything. All right, so first step is Docker. So let's make sure that Docker is still on here. Yes, so we have all of our commands here uh, for Docker. We should be good to go. Is there a way to check the running Docker apps? I forget the, there is a command, right? Uh, yes, Docker container LS. I don't think I should have anything on here. Okay, cool. So you see we have no we have no containers in here. It ain't there. Oh. Now it's there. My bad. <laughs> that's the one that I missed. Yeah, let's see containers. Yeah, that's that's what I wanted to see. Um Pretty much that's the thing right there. Oh, and though any running containers. Oh, okay, we do have running containers. So that's weird. So this is, and then view all containers, pass it the dash A. So this doesn't do running. So I wanna delete these containers because uh, these were just test ones that I set up apparently. Docker PS, yeah, cool. So Docker PS dash A. All right, nice. So there we go. Uh, let's go ahead and delete these things. And then just Docker RM. Okay. 
Uh, but I have to give it the name, right? Whatever these ones are. Docker RM Happy Poitras. Or do I have to give it the, the image name? Okay, no, yeah, that's good. And then Brave, Brave Nunth. What, what type of name is this? <laughs> All right. There we go. So now we have officially zero containers. Nice. Oh, Prune deletes them all. Okay. Yeah, I, I have a feel like I'm going to get a lot of a lot of Docker knowledge today. So this is good. Uh, Lil Kaza, yes, thank you. Let's go ahead and add this to the stand up real quick. So I don't forget because I, I will totally forget today. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, and you had to do a 3000 by 3000 image. My God. <laughs> oh, let's go to stand up real quick, folks. Let's add, let's add this in. Just because it's your two years today. Absolute savage. That's the my call, Corona. Oh, man. I don't even know where to put this thing. Should we just put it right here? Near the airbag? <laughs> okay. How's that? Hey, Marco. Uh, feel free to type an exclamation point today. <laughs> there you go, little Kaza. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for using your pixels here, friend. Appreciate you, man. Appreciate you. Uh, but today, yeah, we're, we're working uh, with Docker and containers. Going from there. So, yeah. So, I think the, the first step is to understand, like, kind of how we want to do this, right? So, uh, pretty much my thought process around this is setting up multiple servers. Um, using Docker, the goal is to have multiple, uh, Node.js servers running. Multiple Node.js servers, um, and other services running on the Pi. First test should be setting up a Node.js server in here and make sure it works. Then get uh, RTMP. Present Cheek, thanks for the follow, by the way. Uh, Docker container in here as well. Awesome. That's kind of what I'm visualizing for this setup. Hey, Coder Life. Yeah, it's it's a coronavirus. <laughs> yeah, Oxygen, that's how we do it. That's how it is for sure. Um, so yeah, that's that's what I kind of want to do. And it's really just mainly to kind of learn how this process goes. So I think that's cool. Um, so I found this other doc on the Node.js website, which is freaking sick. Uh, pretty much just create a Node.js app. So first create a new directory where all files would live uh, in this directory, create a package.json file that describes your app and its dependencies. So yeah, that's that's a regular Node.js thing. I think the example project that we are going to use uh, will go ahead and actually be a, I think it should be the Flutterbot. We should put the Flutterbot on here and see um, oh no, we should do the groovy bot, the groovy bot, right? Cause we had that as a plan to do in the future. Um, that'd actually be pretty sick to set up or like just get a, from scratch, get that thing going. Right. Uh, so if we go to, I think it's groovy backend. One of the new issues that we had was, yeah. Add a groovy bot to Pixelogic dev discord. 
Um, essentially, a bot that will grab uh, <laughs> that will grab songs from a certain channel and go go ahead and do that. Did someone say Flutterbot? No, no one said that. <laughs> Sounds good, Dynamite. Enjoy. Uh, yeah, so we'll just do a, a, a straight brand new setup of this thing. Yep, so let's go ahead and... Should we try to do this all in the pie? Uh, I think there's a... There's an extension. So VS Code Raspberry extension yeah oh is it just remote Fikex what's up Flutter is cool. Flutter is pretty cool. Okay, so that's it. So it's just remote development extension pack. Okay. Let's install it. Mr. Moosh! Hello! Oh, I oh my god, I totally forgot about the most important thing today. Uh R cooled, welcome. Cheers, Moosh. Uh thanks for coming in to say hello. I totally forgot to put the closed captioning. I'm terrible. I wonder if I can add that real quick. Yeah, and we're gonna get the one from Talk to Me Gooseman. Yeah. Hold on one second, folks. Okay. Uh... So I think now, I think now I should be able to see it. I'm kind of all over the place today. Yeah, I think that should be good. Let me know if you see the closed captioning stuff. Capture should then disappeared. Rip. Uh, what did I do wrong? Now? Oh, here we go. Here we go. That should work. Maybe that should that should work. No. Oh man. I think I'm gonna have to sit down and play with it. Sorry, Moosh. I totally forgot. I totally forgot. Bad streamer. Yeah, I'm gonna have to see what's going on here with it. 
yeah, no worries. Thanks, Aaron. Thanks for checking it out. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and quickly disable this again. Uh, and yeah, I've been, I've been meaning to add that. I totally forgot to add it yesterday. We were talking about it. We were talking about it. All right. Anyways. Anyways, let's go ahead and get this thing in here. This is in preview. BT dubs from Microsoft. Okay. The pack. Oh. We're going to go ahead and SSH into this, this guy. It's totally the wrong thing. Uh, so it was this. Oh, get started with computer by installing Docker Vision the help section above. No, I want to actually do. Uh, what what are they asking of me here? So I think it's literally just install the extension run remote SSH connect control chip P remote connect to host. Okay, so connect to host. All right, cool. I'm going to hide this real quick. I don't know what I need to put here as of yet. Yeah. Okay. I need to add a new host. Hey guy. What's up? Welcome. Nice to see you friend. Uh, so we're going to do pixel pie dot locale. Okay, uh, so as you can see, I press connect here and this is what shows up in VS Code, uh, alloc at pixelpy.local. I'm gonna go ahead and put in my password real quick. Oh my God. For my pie. Really Holy Tim! Holy Tim! Yo, most epic, my God. Can we get a Holy Tim in chat? <laughs> Tim coming in with that 70, count them, 76 person raid. Holy Tim. My God. Salute y salutes. Yo, mods, can we get a huge shout out for Tim, please? Wowza. Wow, wow, wow. My God. Dude, Tim, thank you so much for that raid. Welcome in. Welcome in. <laughs> How are we doing today, folks? What's up? Uh... Kozas TV, uh, we got Jazz Jost, Rockstar, yes, hell yeah, man, what a tasty raid, dude, glad to see you're doing well, Martin, welcome, 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 folks, Tim, thank you again for that awesome raid, man, holy crap, my name's Alec, thanks for being here today, uh, we're currently working on a Tesla Thursday application, setting up a raspberry pi to stream some video feeds from a road trip uh from gopro cameras cameras attached to a tesla uh so today we're working in the raspberry pi we're setting up a rtmp server um to get things going um and we're just getting started so thank you for being here folks if you haven't checked out tim tim's an awesome awesome game dev streamer here on twitch been around for a while uh Go check out his stream. Go show him some love. Go drop that quick follow on his channel. Thank you again for that, Tim. Freaking awesome, man. Turtles. Woo. Thanks, little Kaza. Appreciate your two years here, my dude. You're awesome. You're awesome, man. Tesla. Yep. Yes. A while. <laughs> Just a little while, huh? Just a little while. Um. Oh, okay. So... We were just, we just downloaded a VS code extension to SSH into our Pi. Uh, I thought I put in my password. Maybe I didn't. Let me, let me try that again real quick. They got too much hype from the raid. Dude. 
Okay. Interesting. VI code, thanks for the follow. Welcome in. Nice to see you. Uh I guess we're still having some some issues. We're already logged in here. Um Okay, I mean I guess for the time being it's not a huge deal. We can always just copy our content into there, but I'm kind of curious why that's not not working. Tim, what have you been working on, man? What uh I noticed some of your streams have been more along the lines of like talks and thoughts on uh on your the racing game that you've been building and stuff, so I would love to know what else what else you guys have been doing. Okay, so I go here and I'm good to go there. And I go my password. Okay. And then at this point, when I go to details, it it keeps prompting me for my password. There must be some issue here. Hmm. Oh, wait. I think I, I, I think I got it. I think we did it. Yes. Yes, I think we're in. Are we? Hello? Got connection one, two. One, two, one, two. Hello, connection. I, I, I think, I think we're good. I think we're in. Okay. Uh, let's say we did particles with canning and rockets trails in the game. Oh, sweet. Nice. Okay. Oh yeah. How'd that go? You got some good stuff going? Um, I guess that's all about it. So pixel pie just dot local, right? Um, SSH targets, forwarded ports, forward a port. This is actually pretty sick. I'm in. <laughs> Bill, redeem sit or stand. You got it, Bill. We're standing up. Folks, if you can, get that spinal fluid moving. Try to stand up. Put your monitors, your keyboards on a desk, all that fanciness. Ooh -wee. It's always good. Oh, okay. So I guess step number one, let's go ahead and uh, let's just start creating our, our Node.js app, right? Pretty much from, from there. I think that's kind of what we're going to want to do. Uh, yeah, and see what happens. Cares, <laughs> Daddy Bill cares about your back health. That is, that is correct. Thank you, Daddy Bill. <laughs> um, Cool. So I guess let's just start with. Oh, is this open an entirely new folder or something? Open folder. Oh, I see. I see. So we have config. JNUPG local VS code server bash uh, get docker sh profile let's let's look at our I'm curious to see what our the get docker sh is okay so this is actually coming from our pi um, which is great nice what's up Albion yeah if you type in keyboard and chat give you all the info my friend uh, but it's the Keytron K2. Okay. I, that, okay, cool. So can I like add, add a, add a folder? <laughs> um, oh, I see. So they, they, SSH into that thing. So we're in the pixel pie. I guess I just don't have. I don't have anything in there, right? Yeah, user home. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, I don't. I just don't know. I guess where to put anything to begin with. Um, yeah, I see. Okay, so pretty much then, if we did source, um, I thought I would be able to actually make directories, but if I did like config here, Ookla. Oh yeah, I. <laughs> I uh, downloaded speed test onto my Pi as well. <laughs> uh, I thought that was that was a good thing to to use. Oh, I see. Okay, interesting. So then we can go here to like this JSON thing. Um, gotcha. Okay, so we need to create a folder, pretty much. Lidar Star, what's up? Thanks for the follow. Welcome to the team. Thunderbolty, hello. Nice to see you, my friend. Thanks for being here. Yeah, okay, this makes more sense. Assad, yes, it is working. We are SSH'd in right now. Um, so the goal then is if we're in here, yeah, we could just make stuff. Uh, so I wonder if we should create like a... It'd be cool if we could create some sort of... Um... I guess just a folder. The question is, how do we want to set this up on the Pi? I feel like it would just be uh, containers, right? Just in general. Or maybe we can do like... Um... Maybe just servers or something. So I guess we should probably go over to our actual Pi and then we can just do a make directory, right? Uh... So if we ls, we're at get docker.sh. So if that's at the root, uh, we should be able to do, if I can remember. Oops. Wait, why does this open? This is kind of confusing. This thing opens a... Uh... How did I get to that screen? To show me my directory layout. I wanted to see where I was. Demon Wolf! What's up, dude? There was no, uh... What the hell, man? This is, this is weird. Okay. Why does it just keep opening <laughs> multiple things here? Is it just because there's just nothing in there? Thunderbolty, thanks for that follow, friend. You could just develop bloking on your machine and have a GitHub action that builds a Docker image for the right architecture and upload them to Docker Hub. That way you can just pull the images and run the, them on the Pi. Oh, interesting. Yeah, I guess that's also a really good thought too, right? Didn't really think about that. Good call out. Oh, true. True, true. Uh, connect to host in a new window. Oh, I see. Yeah, that's actually a good call, Rushki. I think we should probably do that. Just at least, like, start building something. And then we can SSH into the Pi or whatever um, if we need to at that point. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, good call. I'm going to... Uh, remove that? Okay, cool. So for now... Let's just go ahead and actually. VS Code is so blow. I love, don't get me wrong, I love me some VS Code. But uh, yeah, I think I'm just going about this all wrong as I've never done any of this before. Um, yeah, so I think at this point we're going to want to CD like documents development. And then by LS here. Uh, let's just go ahead and do Why 
We'll just go, we'll make a directory called pi and go in here. And then we'll just do code like that. We'll start like this. Let's get it started. Hell yeah, Rushki, thanks for that. I'm gonna go ahead and save that. Yeah, I mean, again, don't get me wrong. It's I think it actually is pretty great, um, but I think I'm just trying to understand what we want to use this thing for. So I think the first thing is we have pi, um, and we're going to say, I don't know, bots probably? Let's create this bots folder. Um, and then inside of this thing, the first thing we're going to create is, we'll call groovy bot. Um, just so we can get something going here and Okay, cool. Yeah, so first create a new directory where all the files will live in this order to create a package that describes your app and its dependencies Cool, can we just do npm init, right? Folder <laughs> bot folder <laughs> nice um, I think we just do npm init. Package name GroovyBot. Yes. Version 1. Description. Call the bot bot. <laughs> that would be so annoying to have to type in. <laughs> um. Discord bot that adds songs to initial uh, groovy playlist sure all right there we go so we got our package.json in there <laughs> mr. destructoid that's <laughs> it's hilarious. Uh, okay, awesome. So we got that thing going. Uh, then npm install. If you're using npm version, okay. Oh, because they add express as a dependency. Yes. We want to totally npm i express. Because express is the way of the land with Node.js. Yeah, yeah. So we got that thing going. All right, cool. Then create a server.js file that defines a web app using Express Framework. All right. So we should probably change this thing to server.js. Sky Hoshi, thanks for the follow. Welcome. All right. New file. Um, I think this is... Okay, this looks about right. Nice. Uh, I feel like Express has... Hold up, hold up, hold up. Just write the whole HTTP system yourself in C-sharp. <laughs> Get out of here. Bro, Express is great. <laughs> Express is the way of the land. Uh, yeah, there's like, yeah, this thing, they do such a great job. I like, I needed to probably still do. All right, beautiful. So we got this set up. Really what I want to do, I just want to get this thing in a Docker container deployed on our Pi. Uh, and then we can move on to getting the like, uh, RTMP server and go from there. Okay. So then you can learn how to run this inside a Docker container using the official Docker image. First, you need to build a Docker image of your app. Uh, okay, so create an empty file called Docker file. Okay. You're working on Express API right now? Oh, hell yeah. That's awesome, man. Yeah, it's, I've always used Express for stuff, um, for Node stuff. It just It makes life so much easier. It's easy to spin up. 
Okay, so the first thing you need to do is define from what image we want to build from here. Here we'll use the latest uh, long-term support version 12 of node available in Docker Hub. So I guess we should verify the, the long-term from this thing. Two keyboards because one isn't enough. Yes, that's exactly right. <laughs> Don't tell anyone. I mean, I guess you can see it. One billion plus? My God. It's actually insane. Yeah, I, I use one once. This is for my stream PC and then this is for my for my Mac. So so I got two. Not not cool enough to go the other way around. Uh, Oxax2, thanks for that follow. I recently switched my Wi-Fi to Unify, which uh, among good performance, uh, it also gives a lot of stats. I had 257 gigabytes of traffic within the last 18 days in a single household. Consider that I had a 50 gigabyte limit until second to last year. I'm kind of worried how I did survive back then. That is insane oxygen. Wow. It's horizontal flip. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> I've been I've been going back and forth on this. It's like I don't know. I I, I I don't know. I feel like it makes sense, right? Like it goes with my body in the correct way. It's like me looking at the keyboard. I don't know. It's like prevent password learning. No, I forget that I have it on there sometimes. Uh, Bell the Thass, thanks for the follow, by the way. Welcome in. Hello, hello, hello. Jay Victor, what's up? Welcome. Uh, okay, so no, I think this is this is okay. Uh, we can just use node 12 for now. Uh, and then next we create a directory to hold the application code inside the image. This will be the working directory for your application. So just create a working directory. Uh, okay, so. Hello. Hello. Work directory, user, source, app. Um, can we change this to be something else? Wonder if we could, I mean, I guess this would be all right. So user, I probably just, just want to change this to server really. Yeah. Uh, and then this image comes with a Node.js and NPM already installed. So the next thing we need to do uh, is install your app dependency using npm binary. Please note that if you're using npm version 4 earlier, package lock.json file will not be generated. Okay. So this will install app dependencies. A wildcard is used to ensure both package.json and package locks are copied where available. I see. Okay. So, oh, you copy this first. I see. Copy the package.json first uh, and the lock and then run npm install. Okay, so I'm, I'm getting this. So essentially, this is all we, we need to really get set up for this thing is a bunch of commands on how to build this inside our container, right? If I'm understanding this. Uh, Profal Santos, thanks for the follow. Woo! Thanks for that follow. If you are uh, if you're building your code for production, run NPM CI only production. Nah. Who uses NPM less than four? I don't know. Uh, I feel like this is a fairly old article, so maybe some people back in the day. Tall pants, welcome back, my friend. Nice to see you. You're doing great. Hey, thanks, Chi. I appreciate that. Okay, so note that rather than copying the entire working directory, uh, we are only copying the package.json file. This allows us to take advantage of cache Docker layers. Bit Judo has a good explanation of this here. Furthermore, the npm ci command specified in the comments helps provide faster, reliable, reproducible builds from production environments. You can read more about this. Okay, great. So to bundle your app's source code inside the Docker image, use the copy instruction. Copy. All right. So again, specify our, um, our runtime. So we're using Node 12. We're going to put everything in our working directory of user, source, server. 
copy our pack any package.json file into our container run npm install so we can generate the dependencies and lock file and then copy all of that again bismarck 91 thank you so much for that follow welcome my friend docker can go die in a fire i hate it wow <laughs> okay no it's it's gonna be good it's gonna be good we got this you're gonna learn something tall pants uh, your app binds to port 8080, so you'll use the expose instruction to have it map to the Docker uh, daemon. Okay. So then, I guess at any point, this is also the other question I had, right? If I'm running multiple Docker containers, can I run them off the same port? Or do I need to spe give them all specific ports, right? I feel like they should all be on different ports. What did Docker do to you? <laughs> What's up, the one? Hey, Clink. I've been trying to learn Docker for a while, but started getting confused when I saw people using both Dockerfile and Docker Compose. I thought you just won one or the other. Oh, I see. Well, welcome in, Clink. So this is my first time doing this, but I believe that you need a Docker file, and Docker Compose runs through each Docker file. I think that's pretty much that flow from the little that I've read. Um, but yeah, I do want to set up a Docker Compose file as well but I could be wrong, I'm not sure. All right, so last but not least, define the command to run your app using CMD, which defines your runtime. Here we'll use Node.js, easy, Psst. easy peasy, dude. Yeah, so we just use command line, uh, we type node and server.js. That will start up server.js for us. You can specify the same port, it's not directly exposed on the host. Oh, I see. Is that a recommended approach though? Do people usually do that? Yeah, nice Rushkey. Uh, okay, so your dark file should now look like this. From node 12, create app directory, install app dependencies, run, bundle app source, and do it. Easy enough. Easy enough. Okay, create a docker ignore file in the same directory as your doc file with the following content, node modules, and npm debug log. Uh, so create a docker ignore file in the same directory as your docker file. Okay, yes. So in here, whoops. All right, makes sense. Cool, Oxygen, thanks for that heads up. Uh, isn't Docker about virtualization? Kind of surprised it works on a lightweight device like a Pi. Uh, so I think, again, and please, any of the experts in Docker, uh, correct me if I'm wrong on this stuff. I've just done a little bit of research. I haven't actually done much on Docker. This is the first time actually doing anything. Uh, but Docker isn't the same sort of virtualization that you would think of in regards to like a VM. Um, a a VM sits on, I think it sits on top of the of the metal essentially, and it's one more layer to go through. Docker eliminates that that extra like virtualization layer um, that isn't required, or that extra virtualization layer that we don't want. If that makes sense. Oh, I see tall pants. Um, I I don't know. I I mean. I guess this is a very basic Docker file, but it seems pretty straightforward. It's just like reading English, right? Um, but maybe I'll have different opinions later. Cool. So go to the directory that has your Docker file and run the following command to build a Docker image. Uh, the dash T flag lets, your, lets you tag your image so it's easier to find later using Docker images command. Oh, okay. Uh, your image will now be listed by Docker. And then just run the image. So that seems pretty, I mean, pretty straightforward, huh? Not too shabby? Not too shabby, dear. Uh, we should probably change this to be something like... Hello from... GroovyBot. Groovy bot ready.
for action on port. Yeah, customize a little bit. Clink 50, thanks for that follow. Woo! And Bismarck 91, thank you for that follow as well. Uh, Abamas, thank you for that follow as well. Hello, hello. Uh, code with Sean. Hey, that dot with Docker build is important. Just FYI. Uh, that dot with Docker builds. Uh, this guy. Yes. I, I would assume so. Yeah. Thanks for the heads up though. 9,000? Nah. Uh, VMs do a virtualized hardware OS and are thus heavyweight. Uh, Docker is doing namespacing accessibility restriction on the containers processing and file system tree and uses the existing Linux kernel. Uh, thus, it is close to none overhead compared to running binaries. Hell yeah. Thanks, Austin. That's a great explanation. If you want to know why VM or Docker is better than VMs, take a look at that post. Alec, you probably uh, probably get some of those sweet Azure credits to their <laughs> their serverless function things. Shh. Groovy bot ready to get groovy on port. 9,000. 80, 80, baby. Oh. 80, 80. Not 3,000. Um, okay, so if go to the directory, and so once we build this, uh, I guess we'll just make it. Should we? The question is, we have all the source files. We have this stuff set up here. If I build this thing, I think we should probably call this thing like Pixel Logic Dev. We just call it Pixel Logic. Actually, um, I'm gonna change this Pixel Logic, and we're gonna call this Groovy Bot. Right? <laughs> I don't have Docker installed on my computer. Rip. <laughs> hey, do you want to try to run Docker build? Sure. Oh, by the way, you don't have Docker on your computer. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Hi, Timeless. Thank you for that follow, my friend. Thanks for being here. Folks, thanks for all the follows. I hope you're enjoying the stream. Uh, <laughs> rip. Um, if you're enjoying the community and you've liked what, what we've been doing, hit that follow button. We're, we do a lot of this stuff. And then also join our Discord. We have a great community there. Get the latest and greatest. Um, and uh, come hang out with us. Get programming help. Showcase some projects, whatever you're working on. We'd love to have you. <laughs> Tom Scott, thank you for the follow. I satisfied. Thank you for the follow as well. Uh, app get Docker. I don't have app app get either. Oh right, because I'm not in the right. I'm not in the right place. I keep forgetting where I am. Yeah, I'm on my Mac. I forgot. I thought I was on my Pi. I have. I know I have Docker on my Pi. You know what? Wait a second. Wait a second. We should put this code onto the Pi and then install Docker and then just do the the uh, and then run it on the Pi. No. Thanks for that heads up, Oxygen. Yeah, good call. You do get Azure credits uh, right for working at Microsoft. <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. Uh, what language is GroovyBot going to be made in? Any specific libraries? Yeah, we'll probably just use some basic Discord library. I don't know. Um, it's going to be Node.js, so JavaScript. Um, yeah, something simple. It's going to be a really simple bot. Nothing crazy. Hey, Winterlore, I want to do some Clash of Codes with y'all. Oh, no. <laughs> Sounds like a bad time. Yeah, Discord.js. Yeah, thanks, Steeman. Um, yeah, I, I guess we should install it on here. I don't, I don't know. I thought I, I had Docker at some point on here. I had Docker at some point. I must have removed it. Hey, Nag of the Dawn, what's up? What are you like you're doing? Just join. Hey, we're actually working on getting a Docker image set up on our Raspberry Pi. Uh, the Raspberry Pi is going to be used to um, as a RTMP server. So we're essentially our Raspberry Pi is going to be holding up a lot of different containers, a lot of different services. So we're trying to utilize Docker to, to make sense of all this. Um, and so we're making a quick Node.js bot thing 
just to uh, deploy on the pipe. And then we're gonna download the RTMP um, Docker container and get that set up. Uh, also, we can start streaming content from a Tesla road trip to the uh, to the Pi and then up to Twitch. I hope that makes sense. Let me know, Naga. Thanks for joining. It's hard for beginners to do it in Swift, is it? So, uh, yeah, Swift bots seem a little difficult. Naga the Dawn, thanks for that follow. Woo! Ayo, mad. Thanks, friend. All right, so we should have Docker now, right? No, we still don't. Oh, do I need to refresh my instance? Wait a second. Or do I, Docker always runs, right? Uh, Probably reload. Yeah, so a lot of learnings today um, and just understanding. I've never used Docker. Uh, oh, we, we had to download command line tools probably, right? We can't just download this app and then not have that stuff set up. Docker, Desani's privileged to access. Okay, let's go to secret mode real quick. Yeah, yeah, I have to reload the window. Cool, cool. All right, Docker desktop is starting. Yeah, yeet, hacker man, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh, I do have a Docker ID. Hold up, let me go back in here. I'm pretty sure I have one. I like, I remember setting stuff up. I remember trying to use it and I used it with like a project I was working on with some friends, but I like didn't know what I was doing and I was just like, all right, cool, yeah, I do. Yeah, let's get started. Fancy Teapot, welcome in. Thanks for being here. Get started with Docker and Fusey Steps. In case anyone's curious if they want to get started with Docker, you press start. Uh, first clone repository. We don't need to do that. We already have one. Build. Okay, that literally just tells us everything. So we have no containers running locally, and that's fine. That's good. Uh, Kazro, thanks for that follow. Welcome in. All right, so now let's reload the window. Hey, there it is. Okay, so we should test this locally first, right? And make sure it works. And then, uh, so Rushki was saying to actually put it up on the uh, Docker hub and then just download it onto our machine, which could be really cool as well, or onto our Pi. Um, I'd be down to try that out. But let's go ahead and uh, where's the command that we had? Yes. So now let's do our Docker build command here. Uh, and then we're going to want to call this pixel logic. And then we're going to want it to groovy bot. Here we go. Uh, okay, unable to evaluate sim links in Docker file path. Oh, I'm in the wrong directory. Okay. And I actually, hold up, I want to rename this real quick. To lowercase, I don't know why I capitalized this. Bots. Rename. Yeah. Okay. So CD bots. Groovy bot. Gotta, gotta run it in the right spot, right? Here we go. Cannot find Docker file. Uh, interesting. Hey, Renary, what is Dockerizing? Yeah, so Dockerizing is just the way of uh, essentially setting up our web servers to put in containers. Um, if you want to know a little bit more about Docker, uh, a quick search on Google will tell you a little bit more about it, but I don't know if Dockerizing is even a word, <laughs> but yeah. Oh, good call, Aaron. I, I did do that. I did. Thank you. Thanks for that heads up. All right. 
Third time's a charm. Here we go. Look, it's magic. Docker's doing Docker things. Holy. Pulling from library node. Version 12. Here we go. What else we got? What else we got? Keep it coming. What mic do you use? I use a uh, a Rode Node NT USB microphone. Hey, thanks, Oxygen. Yo, right there. And okay, so you see that we create our working directory. Oh no, I got an error somewhere. Oh, no, no repository, that's fine. Uh, okay, working directory is there. And then running, removing intermediate container, okay. Step three of seven, copy package.json, run npm install. Uh, we don't have repository, that's fine. Added 50 packages from 37 contributors. Okay, cool. Uh, removing copy, expose the port. And then and then running. Built, su successfully built. Yo, claps all around for everybody. Yeah, Aaron, right there. Thank you. Thank you for posting that. Um, okay, so your image will now be listed by Docker. That's us right there. Woo! That is dope. Um, tag latest 12. Okay. Pixel Logic Groovy Bot. <laughs> Malicious package. Shh. Don't tell anyone. All right. Running your image uh, with dash D runs a container in detached mode, leaving the container running in the background. The P flag redirects a public port to a private port inside the container. Oh, I see. Um, interesting. So do we, I mean, do we have to define a public port? Probably, right? Or do we, yeah, probably have to do something. If you want the container support to be accessible from outside, yes. Yeah. Makes sense. Um, so that's another thing. So I guess maybe at least for this like bot instance, right? We don't really need. Do we need it accessible from outside? I don't think so. Maybe? Not sure. I'm not entirely sure yet. Um, but I guess let's just go ahead and run this on our Mac to begin with, without a port. Um, let's do it in detached mode. So it runs in the background and then we'll give it our, our name. So Pixelogic and GroovyBot. Okay. So Docker PSH dash dash it. Uh, or wait, the oh Docker PS Docker. PS dash a. Holy crap! Oh, exited thirteen seconds ago. Oh, I think I might have messed something up. Renary, thanks for that follow. Welcome. Uh, by outside, I mean everything that is not the container or some other container. Oh, I see. <clears throat> Excuse me. I see. Thanks for the heads up there. Uh, case variable. Thanks for that follow as well. Welcome in, folks. Glad to have you all here today. What does Docker logs peaceful? Yeah, let's uh, let's see. I don't know. So Docker logs peaceful booth. I like this name. Cannot find module user source server server JS. Uh, oh, did I mess up my whole my whole thing here? Oh, because oh, wait a minute. So at this point, the working directory 
if we don't actually have this directory here, like we don't have a source source file in here, right? So it's not going to copy anything. <laughs> You've been wasting all those seconds, Aaron. Case variable. Wee! Coming in with that Twitchy Prime Prime. Thank you so much for that, Case. Salutus, salutus. Thanks for being here, my friend. Heck yeah. Really appreciate that. Welcome to the team. Glad to have you as part of the community. Uh, I guess, um, so create app directory, right? Is server.js in the right folder? Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> it is not. Good call out. <laughs> Guys, I promise you, I'm a, I'm a top tier programmer. Uh, anyways, <laughs> no, 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 no. Nope. Uh, so we should probably delete this, right? <laughs> Docker prune. Uh, what was the the prune command? Microsoft about. <laughs> Glorian, top tier guy. Yeah, yeah. Quick unfollow BRB. I hate you. That's rude. That's rude. Uh oh, we can do Docker RM. Oh, or just build again. Oh, I guess that's also true. Alright, let's build this thing again. Uh Alright. <laughs> let's try it one more time. Alright. Uh and then. Docker run? Docker Docker run? Okay. Oh, we can use a desktop too, right? Oh yeah, I did have this. I forgot about this. Oh yeah. That was the project I was working on. I know you love me. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> the flaws. Docker PS dash A. Up 23 seconds. Let's freaking go. Okay. Uh, so then let's go ahead and do a Docker RM peaceful booth. Uh, PS, PSA. Hell yeah, folks. Let's go. How do I access this thing now? Oh, this thing right here? Yeah, this is a stream deck. Uh, this is how I control the different uh, overlays and things. Yeah. For sure. Docker logs? Oh, yeah. I guess we can take a look. Naughty Net. <laughs> They're giving some good names. Groovybot ready for action! Ooh Yo, that is so sick. So, I guess the question is like... Well, like, okay, so at this point, let's let's talk about what we've done. We created a simple express server. We created a Docker file to build this Docker container. And then finally, we have it running locally on our Mac. So at this point, what do I want to do? I want to see if I can actually get to this thing, this server, right? Um... Like I want to essentially get this written back and in, in the server, which is, which is great. Uh, or like, you know, go to the server website, uh, because our server, all it should be doing is, uh, any get, it should say hello from GroovyBot, And so that's what we want to throw up. Are you using a uh, ZSH? Then I would recommend the Docker plugin helps with uh, autocomplete. Oh yeah. Oxygen. I am. Thank you. Uh, case real. I see you're part of the Keytron gang, which, which do you have? I have the brown ones. Uh, I just bought this a couple months ago. It's probably one of the best keyboards I ever used. I love it. Yeah. Keytron gang, baby. <laughs> I 
Hey, Plush, welcome. Nice to see you. Welcome, welcome. Oh, I see. So, 8080 TCP. So... Can I I'm sorry. In the above, talker map, a port. So, I mean, we didn't map it, right? So, if I did local host, it should just work. <laughs> Authorized with Apple. <laughs> no, no. Uh, no. Did I actually set it to 8080? Yes. Logic got gang gang for me. Nice. Oh, really, Aaron? Is it already time? Expose 80? Yeah, so that's that's what I was trying to understand. If I need to map this port, right? So on my machine, I need to expose... I need to map 8080 to 8080. Okay, okay. That's what I thought. That's the part I was missing. And I'm like, I don't... Like, we can do this, but it's not going to be mapped to anything, right? Okay. This is good. This is good. Learn. The learnings. Um, so if now, if I want to remove Naughty Nash... <laughs> Naughty Nash. Oh. Uh, is it just Docker stop? I want to learn the commands. Wow, it took a long time to stop. Oh, Docker remove F. And then if I do docker ps.a. Okay, cool. So it exited, which is great. Uh, Naughty Nash. And then we can do docker rm Naughty Nash. I forgot the command to remove all of them. And then docker psa. Awesome. Okay. So at this point now, we can then do our build once more. So docker build. Uh, no, sorry. Docker run. Was it docker build or run that we did? Docker run. Okay. So we already built it. We just need to run it properly now. Yeah, yeah. I was trying to figure out. I thought it was the uh, the run command or the build command. Okay. So run D and then we need to do dash P. Dash P to map port 8080 to 8080. Like that. There we go. And we do uh, Docker PS A. Okay, awesome. So yeah, so we have local hosts pointing to 8080 there. Um, and then now, if we hit local host 8080. Done so. That's it. <laughs> Stream's over. That's it. We don't need to do anything else. Hello, Groovy. Groovy bot. Easy. Now put it on the pie and ship it. <laughs> Heck yeah. Thanks for the help, folks. Yeah, that was cool. So essentially, again, we created a... Uh, we created a quick express app that just has one port that just says, Hello, Groovy bot. Uh, put it in a, created a Docker file, built that Docker file. I'm sorry, built the Docker container based on that file, started to run it locally, expose port 8080 on our machine to port 8080 in the Docker container. And now we were able to hit it. Woo! Easy peasy. Standing ovation. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Appreciate that. Mr. Hacker man here. Thank you. Thank you very much. I feel, I feel good about this. This is good. This was a pretty, uh, pretty good guide, honestly. What's up, Bye, Joe? Welcome. All right. So now that we got this, the next step is to actually put this on our pie. 
Um, and then once we get that working, I want to download another Docker container for a RTMP server um, and start to set that up and understand how we're going to actually do that thing. Um, yes. And then, so really let's note some of this down so we don't forget it. Um, cause I think a lot of this, I have a couple node servers currently that, um, that I need to convert to containers to throw on the pie, specifically one for a iOS app I built called cycles. I want to throw the notification server onto the pie as well. Um, and so this actually be really easy because all I have to do at this point is literally just write a Docker file, build it, throw it on the pie and we're done. So I want to go through that whole, that whole process. <laughs> Isaac, have you tried flutter? See, I don't have the bot turned on. I, that's another thing we got to throw on the pie, the flutter bot. <laughs> Cause I still, I still haven't, still haven't turned it on. Um, okay. So Docker learnings. It's amazing seeing people realize the potential of Docker. Yo, this like, it's incredible. <laughs> this is so Docker learnings is, this is pretty darn easy. For now, we can definitely maintain a bunch of different images on our Pi that will help out a lot with running multiple servers and such. Uh, the few servers I want to throw on here are uh, TG, TG4, Aaron, and Architur is thank you for that follow as well. Welcome to the team, both of you. Appreciate you being here. Flutter, Flutter. <laughs> imagine Flutter with JSX. I do not want to. No, imagine React Native with widgets and Dart. I do not want to. Andrew, what's up? I just got a Raspberry Pi the other day, hoping to build an IRL streaming rig with it. Hey, heck yeah. That's pretty much what we're trying to do here too, friend. Um, so I hope you can learn something here. Uh, we do this every Thursday, but heck yeah. Best of luck, my friend. Luca Bachman, thank you for that follow as well. Welcome to the team. So the few servers I want to throw here are uh, GroovyBot, uh, Cycles, Notification server. Probably Flutterbot. And then I think Tesla Voice Bot or Tesla Voice Server. Or Tesla uh live stream server. I think we we will need something like this. Once we get further down the road of setting this up, we'll need some sort of server on here. Uh, and then secondly, the other containers I will be putting on here, uh, RTMP server for Tesla, uh, live streaming. Then we have um, also some home automation. I think it's called Pi. Uh, I saved it the other day, I think. Uh, home automation. Uh, Raspberry Pi. Uh, Siri home kit. There's a, a library that I was going to use Homebridge. Yes. Homebridge. There's some stuff here that we wanted to get set up. So what's the role that the dark plays and stuff? Sorry, I missed the beginning. Yeah, no worries, Andrew. Um, so Docker essentially, as you can see right here, we have one, two, three, four, five, six different things that we want to host on this pie. Uh, and so instead of just, you know, throwing up like, 
a bunch of different terminals within our Raspberry Pi, all we have to do is use Docker containers to actually have these things running um, in a easy and, and simplistic way. So that's really the whole the whole gist of this. Um, I think it'll be great. Hey, thanks, Andrew. Wait until there are too many containers that a Pi runs out of memory. Yeah, that's so that's what that's what I'm worrying about. So that was the next thing. Um, next thing I'm trying to understand is after we do this, right? This is obviously a pretty large load on the Pi. So again, uh, our Pi has four gigs of RAM. Um, it's a Raspberry Pi 4 Model B, four gig version. So it's pretty, I mean, it's it has a solid amount of memory, um, but it depends on, like this is a lot of stuff running, right? Um, so it'd, be, it'd all be about prioritizing things. It would all be about um, maybe, you know, setting up some other things. Uh, so yeah, plus we're, we're a, um, we're a Siri household here. So we have a bunch of stuff through Siri already, but uh, there's a couple things we want to set up. Uh, Edmund's live. What's up? Grafana? I've heard of Grafana, but I haven't used it. Can a pie do this? Let's see. <laughs> oh, damn. Woo. That looks sexy. <laughs> nice. We should probably have some sort of... So, we should probably have some sort of, um, like, monitoring. Um, so, that's probably the next thing we should look up with that. But... Before we do that, let's go ahead and actually push this thing over it. Um, yeah, let's get this. Let's get this image on our on our Pi. So, what's the advantage of using Docker? Is it easily migrate server parts? Yeah. So, Docker. The cool thing about it is all you have to do is have the Docker. Uh, all you have to do is have Docker installed on your platform, and then at that point. Uh, a Docker container can be used on any machine, any OS, as long as it's running Docker. So this server code, if you have Docker on your machine and you're running some sort of flavor of Linux, I can give this to you and it should run no problem. You don't have to ever worry about um, OS issues or things along those lines, which is really powerful. Your Pi is the same amount of RAM as my Mac. <laughs> Rip, dude. Rip. Here's the stack I use for it. Oh, dude, thanks. Appreciate that. Seventy-five running containers. My God. Uh, Tyree Santos, thanks for the follow. Welcome. All right, let's put the desk down. All right, let's get this thing going. Let's do this, dude. Okay, so how do we want to bring this thing? Do we just do we just put it on Docker Hub? Is that really what we're gonna to want to do? Uh, now, Halito, you going to plug the Pi on a Tesla? Already dumped the uh, dumped the firmware, or how? Yeah. So essentially, what we're doing right now um, is we have the Pi set up here in my home, and we're going to be streaming GoPro video feeds from the Tesla to the to the Raspberry Pi. So that's that whole process of the Tesla to the Raspberry Pi, yeah. Dark Hub is easiest? Okay. Yeah. Thanks, Rushy. Appreciate you, friend. Um, so, yeah. So, deploy to Docker Hub. I mean, we don't have anything in here right now, right? This is pretty much just a, a test. Naholito, thanks for the follow. Old Grumpy Gamer, thanks for the follow as well. Welcome to the team, folks. Glad to have you all here today. Thanks for hanging out. Hit the follow so hard. <laughs> all right, don't break it now, all right? Twitch is going to get mad, but I appreciate you, friend. Thank you for that follow. Glad to have you here. Uh, how are you going to stream from the GoPro to the Pi with the Pi? Uh, be there no pro. No, so... Uh, the... GoPros have a uh, the ability for you to um, 
to stream to an RTMP server through the mobile app. So essentially connect all the GoPros to the mobile app. Uh, then from there, we stream the video content to the RTMP server that we're about to set up on the Pi. And then at that point, we do a little bit of manipulation. Uh, and then from the Pi, it would stream over to Twitch. Um, so we'll, we'll definitely have a little bit of latency, but we'll see see how much. Uh, how are you? Yeah, it's, oh, cool. Got that. The one sounds like the Pi is getting a beating. Hope we can handle all this stuff. Yeah, so that's that's exactly what we're going to try to figure out. Um, so exactly what we're trying to figure out. And this is going to be a long going process, which is why we do Tesla Thursdays. Uh, this is the fourth day. Eventually, we're going to get to the point where we have GoPros on the car and we're actually going to go and the stream will be understanding how this stuff is going to work, how it's going to how it's going to happen. So it's going to be actual Tesla driving streams. Uh, Nahulito, thank you so much for the for the uh, the tier one, my friend. Saluti, salute. Thank you for being here. Really appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate your support. Hope to have you join in later on. Yeah, thanks, Satos. Appreciate it. Uh, Ijo, is the project related to Tesla again? Yes, Tesla Thursday. Is every Thursday we do Tesla related projects? Uh, do you stream every day? No, I stream three times uh, during the week. It's Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday. Um, Saturdays and Sundays. Saturdays is going to be a, uh, a podcast style stream that we're starting August 15th, uh, where we talk about dev stuff with a bunch of different programming streamers from here on Twitch and other, other places. Um, and yeah, and uh, we do a game stream as well on the weekend. So love to have you back. Hey, Grumpy Gamer. So you're not using the Tesla cameras, but GoPros that you've mounted in the Tesla. Exactly. Yeah. So the only, at least for now, um, the only way to hack into the, the, the cameras in a Tesla is physically, uh, probably by like splicing into the wire and, and hacking into the feed that way. But I don't want to do that on my car. Uh, I don't. I don't feel comfortable with my knowledge of how to do that. Uh, so I'm not going to do that. <laughs> uh, but yeah, there's uh, that's, that's our game plan is through, through GoPros at the moment. All right. So let's, uh, yeah, let's deploy this thing, I guess. Right. That's the game plan. Create your first repository. Oh, So if we do a private one, that would that be okay? Oh, well, technically you can bypass using the USB port and dumping the firmware Tesla, 3, uh, Tesla Model 3 is all Python, by the way. But yeah, those wires are flimsy. <laughs> uh, how do you dump the Tesla therm firmware onto to the Pi? How how is that even a thing? I've I've never heard of that. I haven't really done much research into that. Um, but I would be interested to know if you do know. <laughs> yeah, thanks, gamer. Yeah, it's uh yeah, a little uh little scary for sure. Um, and also the other thing to think about is a lot of the a lot of the video feed is going through like ML on the computer, right? So if we're in autopilot and we're in, like we're hacking into this feed, that latency at some point, who knows, could even mess up some things like the ML for autopilot. Like I, I don't know. It's just kind of a, a thought I've had. Grafana setups. Okay. All right. Oh, hell yeah. Nice. Tesla stats home temps yo this is actually sick server stats of pi 4 oh baby dude that is awesome heck yeah thanks for flexing i love it i love it keep them coming keep them coming love that car uh you should go into the tesla reverse slack then yo send that my way please but how are you getting Tesla stats? Yeah, Tesla, there are um, unofficial APIs that people have been using. Um, so currently I'm building an iOS app that uses a lot of these Tesla APIs. Um, so we can get a bunch of information on the car just through regular network requests. Wow, dude. 
please send me that slack. What the hell? Dude, I would love to I would love to be part of that. Please send my way. Yes. That would be cool because like the <laughs> the goal of this is to hack it it would would have been to use the onboard cameras. Um, so I would love love to know honestly how any of this works. Thanks uh and as the live appreciate it. Appreciate it. No, so the, the Pi is just going to act as an R, RTMP server. We're going to stream GoPro content to that server. Dashboards are sexy, a stranger, right? All right, let's get this thing set up. Let's get this thing set up. Uh, all right, so if we go back to Docker. Uh, we can add, we can create one, a repository. Let me sign in here real quick. Cool. I'll do it. Only I can can preview this. And we're going to call this thing Groovy Bot. Oh, right. The umlaw is not going to be a thing. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So that's this is also the other big deal with uh, with this project, right? I'm using it for a Tesla, but it'd be really cool. Like all this will be open source for people to use, and like we have the stream videos and things like that. But it'd be awesome if you're curious of trying to do some sort of like road trip live streaming process, or even just like doing some IRL live streaming where you want to offload a lot of this onto a Raspberry Pi. Uh, I hope that this will help you get to that point. Um, so really excited for that, honestly. I like that dino fuel. <laughs> what BMW do you have? Uh, oh, must be lowercase. Oops. Oh, using zero of, oh, you have to pay to get more repositories. Private repositories, I see. Okay, I mean, this one can be public, that's fine. For now. Uh, and let's go back over here. We're gonna do this. Okay, uh, build settings. So auto build triggers a new build with every get pushed to your source code repository. Uh, okay, yeah, we don't care about that right now. We're just gonna press create and go from there. Uh, and I guess I have it under Adelantian. I did forget that that is my username. Yes. Uh, how do you get the data connection to your Pi inside a Tesla? Can you tether to Tesla LTE? So that's another thing I've been wanting to look into. Um, I don't, I don't know a way to tether to the LTE. We're currently just using LTE from a phone. So another big step is, um, yeah, getting the proper signaling uh, when we're in really low, low cellular network areas. And so the first step of that is going to, essentially, just buying a bigger antenna uh, that has a hotspot, pretty much, uh, that we can we can hook into and see how that treats us. Oh, nice, Grumpy. That's cool. Yeah, I've, I've, uh, man, I, I've owned three BMWs. I'm a huge BMW fan, so curious. I was just curious about that. Self-host your own Docker containers. <laughs> oh no, oh, my God, I have so much to learn. So many learnings happening. Actually, pretty sick though. Thanks for the thanks for that. Um, okay, so to push a new tag to this repository, Docker push tag name. Okay, so we did that. We created our thing. 
All right, download and install Docker Desktop. Uh, build and push a container image to Docker Hub from your computer. Docker file from blah, blah, blah. Run Docker build. Build your image. Test your Docker image locally by running blah, and then Docker push your image. All right, that's actually really easy. So Docker PS data. So the one thing we're going to want to do is actually docker rm awesome bernal because uh, we're going to want to rename this thing right um, so I think that means we need to rebuild it with a new name right yeah so this will be Ada Lanchin, Groovy Bots. Cool. So we're going to rebuild it just with the proper username. Oh my God, man, that's, that's crazy. That's a lot of cool stuff, man. It's you guys know so much. <laughs> I'm always amazed, but I'm just like, how so much information. I learned so much from you all. Um, okay, cool. So then just Docker push, right? Docker push, Ada Lanchian, Groovy Bot. And that should, that should be it. It should go up into our Docker hub. Oh, I didn't put a tag name. Rip. Rip. I should have tagged it, right, for the version? Andrew, I've met some brilliant people on Twitch chats. Yeah, it's crazy, right? It's, it's amazing. It's a great community. Glad to have you all here. Um, and I hope you all are learning something as well. Latest. We did it. Can we change VS Code's UI fonts? You can, yeah. So the font I'm using currently is uh, right here for you. JetBrains Mono. Um, you can change the font. You can change the uh, the sizing. I think you can change a couple other things as well with it. But okay, so we have. Am I on? Am I on? Wait a minute. Am I on Docker Hub? Am I here? Did I make it, Mom? Mom? What? Most popular? No, I just, I just want, I just want to search, I just want to search it. This is not the one I want. No. <laughs> Wait, how come it's not there? Oh, it probably takes a minute to propagate, right? Private? Nope. My profile. Fear of code's pretty cool. Yeah, I know a lot of people use that. I know a lot of people use that. Three downloads? The f what? <laughs> Is this real? <laughs> How? <laughs> Why are people downloading GroovyBot, man? Chat is faster than you. <laughs> All right, damn. I'll take it, I guess. Okay, so now. <laughs> yeah, we have chat coming in downloading the most incredible bot you've ever seen. Groovy bot. Let's uh let's go ahead and get back into our pie, huh? Where is my pie? Oh, here we go. Yeah, let's bring this guy over here. So now uh we're going to actually go back to our SSH here. So you can see we are currently in our pie right here. Um, Alec at pixel pie. And so what we're going to do now, I guess is just stalker pool. Network is unreachable. Uh, oh no. Oh no! <laughs> God damn it. Okay. Hey! 
Congrats and you're dead. Welcome. Yag, welcome. I know what happened. This happened to me the other day. Uh, it happens when my Pyrie starts. Did I not save it? Oh, here it is. Here it is. Uh, no, it's... Is it pseudo? No. Last time I had to do something here. Oh, yeah, my gateway. It was my gateway that was messed up. Should we try pseudo, though? Do I have to do a pseudo ping? Oh, maybe that's it? No. No, yeah, that's not it. Okay, okay. I thought that might have been it. No. Uh, it's some gateway stuff. Uh, this thing. For some reason, when my when my Pi restarts, uh, it loses like the the gateway or something. I don't know. It's really weird. Um, so if I do this and I do ping, yeah, because that's just what? Why? Yeah, so there you go. You see that we actually have our gateway now set up properly. Okay. Let's try this again. Pass one, two, three, four, five, six, Kappa. How did you know? <laughs> 17 minute cappuccino? Oh, let's go. <laughs> All right, here we go. So we got that going. Uh, let's go ahead and now try our download again. So folks, again, we're we're all in the pie right now. Docker pool, Adelantian, Grivy bot, using default tag latest. Here it is. Uh, no pointer. Thanks for that follow, my friend. Welcome. Why is Alex mic terrible? Okay, so the problem is it's so bad because I use my AirPods, uh, and I'm usually walking outside when I record the cappuccinos. So rip. Why, why did you stop? Eagle pseudo ping access denied fucking ping. <laughs> you guys are ridiculous. No, we're not doing that. <laughs> yeah, it's an AirPods. Um... All right, so we're extracting. Yeah, so this I think this is one of the fallbacks of using using a micro SD card in the pies. Um, yeah, so. Uh, drop you some DMs, homie. Got a jet, but see you later. Hey, thank you so much. Thanks for the, the sub, my dude, as well. Yes, I, I really appreciate letting me know about that Tesla group. I'm so excited to join it. Thanks for the DMs. Catch you next time. You'll be glad to uh, glad to use this and forget to use sudo for five or six times in a row. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Valid. Valid. I'm installing the fuck. Oh, nice. <laughs> I think I have it actually. Uh, my ZSH config. I don't remember. All right, so we got an image. There we go. So now if we do Docker PS A. Uh, oh, we're not. We installed the image, but we're not running the image yet, right? Uh, so we need to run the image now. So it's Docker run. Dash Rushki coming in with that tier one to the Yagich 01. I appreciate you, Rushki. Thank you so much for that gifted sub. <laughs> Welcome in, Yag. Always glad to have you back as an intern. <laughs> nice oxygen. That's a good call. You're going to keep supplying with subs. Yes, for real. Docker image. Yeah, so we did Docker PS A. Uh, that should show all of them, right? Or, oh, Docker image. It's something different. I see. Okay, cool, cool. Whoa. This thing's 920 megabytes? What the hell? Why is it so large? <laughs> oh, 
Node modules. Oh my god, dude. Yeah, it must be node modules. Whoa. That's not what I want to do. I wanted to do open in. Uh, what the fuck? That is massive. Yeah, there's no dev dependencies in here, though. Use no 12 Alpine. Oh, reveal and finder. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, it has to be this, right? Uh, yeah. Never remember the freaking thing. Yeah, no. 2.5 megabytes. 1.7 megs. So it's all the other Docker stuff. There's no way. Yeah, that's actually wild, man. That is crazy large. I mean, I, I it's okay, I guess, but why? <laughs> Why is my Docker image so large? Yeah, that's, that's actually insane. Oh, it's a lightweight image of Node 12? Oh, okay. Okay. Good to know. Uh, Shuffle, what's up? Going well. How are you doing today? Thanks for being here. Wow, dude, that's crazy. Okay, so we want to do then no 12 uh, Alpine. All right, so let's see if I can remember all these steps. So step one, we change this thing. We need to do a Docker, Docker build, right? Uh, I can't remember the, the exact command. Docker build. Oh man, I'm gonna have to memorize these. Actually, we can just go over here. Docker build. Docker build. Dash T. Dash T. Ada Lanchin. Groovy bot. Uh, and that's it, right? And then dots. Dash team. Okay. Yeah, okay. That's a good call. That's insane, man. Massive. Wowza. Okay, so we'll do that. Uh, and then we'll go ahead and push it up. So can I just remove? How do I remove images? This is just the same sort of Docker RM. Hello. World? No such container. Oh, RMI image. Okay, sweet, sweet. Thank you for that. RMI image. RMI. Okay, cool. And then we'll do a and group up. Wow, I'm I'm so amazed how large that thing is. Cool. Doing well. I know this is crazy ass, but would you be okay with me offering a proposal to not only you, but maybe some of the current viewers and uh, channel looking for a web dev? Um, definitely not crazy shuffle, but I would say if you're interested in looking for some web dev work or a web dev in general, you should join our discord. I just posted the link in the chat. Um, you're more than happy to showcase some projects, uh, reach out, talk to people, um, you know, hopefully find something that you're looking for. In there, I think that's probably better space in here in the Twitch chat. Yeah, sure thing. 
Okay, cool. So we did that and now we need to do a Docker, just Docker push, right? And then we can tag it. So can I, should I tag it with a, like a V1? Or should I just do 1.0.0? Yeah, tag it like that, probably. Oh, tag does not, does not look, oh, does it automatically just do latest? I don't know how the tagging works. Sure thing. Rain uh, Leander, thanks for the follow. Welcome to the team. Glad to have you. Oh, it just it just is latest like that. Okay. Yeah, happy to have you. Thanks for thanks for hanging out. All right, so we're pushing our new um, our new package up. or new image, I should say, uh, into the Docker Docker hub of my account. And then we're gonna download that thing. Um, so size, okay, so I'm assuming this is kilobytes, I hope. Uh, Diego Mars, thanks for that follow. Welcome. Nice to have you. Should we try to run this locally to make sure it's working? Probably, right? Just so we don't push it and it's not, not working. Also, pro tip for when building more complex images, try to put only one run command into the Docker file when doing something larger. Uh, app installs for every step in the Docker file. A new image layer will be created. Uh, which will bloat size and pool times. Uh, therefore, all install, do something, clean up. Uh, task should be run in one run chained with ands. Okay. Yeah, that's actually a really great, really great fact. Uh, or heads up there. Appreciate that, friend. Okay, so we have the Docker image running now. Okay, it's still up, so we are good. Friend, friendly Sanderson. And if we hit... Uh, again, localhost 8080 here. Yeah, hello from GroovyBot. So that's going to our Docker image right there. Um, okay, now we should now we should be able to push this. <clears throat> Docker push, pushing up our latest image to Docker Hub. I love, I love how this just keeps going up. <laughs> Makes me chuckle. All right, let's go to the Raspberry Pi. So now we are back in the Raspberry Pi. Uh, Docker pool, Groovy Bot, using the latest. All right, extracting some some grooviness. Yeah, that is much better. All right. It was much faster. Okay, 91 compared to 942 megabytes before. That is absolutely insane. Uh, hey, Codex, why bother pushing to Docker Hub? Why not host your own repo since it's personal use? Save bandwidth and time. Uh, yeah, that's a, that's a great question. I don't know. I'm I'm new to this. I'm I'm not really sure. Uh, we were talking about using Docker Hub as a as a good good way to just host this and easy to pull down. Um, yeah. So, but that that's a great question. Uh, I don't know. I mean, could you essentially just pull the, are you saying like clone the GitHub repo and just build it on, on device? Deploying. Okay. Run a, run a local registry. Okay. Hell yeah. I'm going to actually say this. This is, this is a good call. Do, 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 do. That's cool. Yeah. Thank you for that. We'll take a, definitely take a look at that. Um, but folks, it looks like we're here. So I think what we can do now, if I am, if I'm not mistaken, we should be able to now do Docker. So if we do Docker PS a, there are, there's nothing running right now. If we do, if we do now Docker run, uh, dash P 
And we're essentially going to say port 8080 maps to port 8080 in our container. Um, then we do dash D, dash D Ada Lanchian, Groovy Bot. Holy crap. Holy crap. Oh, it exited. Rip. Docker logs. What happened? What happened? Uh, execute user process cause, execute format error. Did I do my ports correctly? Docker run dash P, yeah, and headless? Interesting. So the one thing I noticed, it doesn't list supports here like it does when we're doing this here locally. Uh, uh, you can even cache your NPM packages with uh, Sinopia. That is dope. Yeah, thanks for the heads up on that. That's actually really great. Kata uh, Katana, thanks for the follow. Welcome. Nice to have you. I see oxygen. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, this is, this is, yeah, it's a lot of great stuff. Like this is my first day doing any of this. So I'm excited to learn from all of you. I appreciate all the help. Uh, KKZSS, thanks for the follow. Welcome to the team as well. Glad to have you all here today. Thanks for being here. I love DevOps and Docker. Yes. All right, let's see what this error is. Uh, I don't know what that means. Don't you know what happened there? Eh? Uh, probably add Docker on the end of this, right? Standard init Linux. Oh, it's a standard init Linux dot go. Ooh. Toadie1212, thanks for the fo uh, follow. Docker's written in Golang. My, my friends. Okay. Uh. Do, 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 do. Yeah, this is interesting. Is it because of the node server? Maybe? I went ahead and set the pearls in your Discord. Um, hopefully hear back from someone soon. Yeah, best of luck, Shuffle. Thanks for, for hanging out. With running on ARM, yeah. Hmm. It might have to do with that. Yeah. Oh. Oh, interesting. Shuffle, thanks for that follow, my friend. Welcome to the team. I see. Uh, ra -ta -ta -ta. Docker Node.js server to run on ARM? Docker developers can now build ARM containers on their desktops. Uh, 
Okay. Today with the new cross um, compilation, this is really what we're crap because of JavaScript node, blah, blah, blah. Okay, typically developer acceptable containers run the ARM platform on an ARM based server. Okay, so how do I do it? How do I how do I build this thing? Do we have to do we not have the ability for well, the node base? Uh, so it doesn't look like there's any difference there. Uh, NFG Codex, thanks for that follow. Welcome to the team. Is that, no worries, Codex. Yeah, so I got this, uh, this error here saying the user process caused uh, uh, exact format error when I try to run my my image. Um, and so I think, I was thinking it has to do with the fact that maybe it's because it's running on ARM. Um, not entirely sure. Taking the dog for a walk, have a great stream. Aaron, appreciate you being here, dude. Enjoy your walk, I'll talk to you very soon, my dude. Thanks for hanging out. Try building with Docker build X. D Docker build X. Yeah, okay, this is what this is what I was looking for. Uh RPI node. Use the official Node.js images here. Oh. The Raspberry Pi 2 and three. Yeah, no worries. Um, for architectures. So if this is the, oh, so we can still use Alpine like this. So are you saying in here we can do ARM32 node? Twelve Alpine, right? So we could do something like that. Uh, Ejo three, thanks for the follow. Um, and should do you think we should still try building it like this? Maybe. So Docker desktop edge release comes with new CLI command called build. So as you do locally and soon remotely build multi arc images, link them together with manifest file and push them all to a registry. Accomplishes building latest build kit. I see. Okay, cool. So if we do it like that, so I guess then if we do it like this, we wouldn't technically have to use build X or should, I wonder if we should still try using this build X stuff. Hmm. I feel like we should, we should definitely use it. Yeah. So we're currently using the default builder, which is basically the old builder. Let's create a new builder, give us uh, some new multi arc features. Because I mean, technically at this point, this is now a supported ARM architecture, so we shouldn't have any issues. <laughs> yeah, no worries, Codex, no worries. This is a good learning, learning point for all of a sudden. So 
So they have Docker build X build this thing, given a platform, given a platform flag of Linux ARM 64. Um, Raspberry Pis run on 32 bit, right? Yeah. So ARM 32 bit. Excuse me. Yeah, I think we should probably do that. Um, so let's let's just try the the build then, uh, and see what happens. So build X. For kind of a walkthrough blog post. Cool, thank you. Thank you for that. Okay, so install Docker, did that. Add the current user. Okay, should be good. Docker run hello world, did that. Install BuildX for multi architecture image builds. Uh, there are three options to get BuildX on Linux. Use BuildX directly from the test channel version of Docker. Download a binary release of BuildX. Copy, download, build, and install BuildX from github.com. Oh, I see. So it's experimental. Ah, I see, I see. Interesting. I wonder if we should. Hmm. Okay. I kind of want to see if we can just do it with this architecture because I'd rather. Oh, it's 13 month old. Is it? I see. Okay. So let's assume that it's part of this now. <laughs> yeah, strange for sure. Uh Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh Okay, before we get into this, I kind of want to try us just building it like this using this ARM specific node version. Um, and yeah, or we can just do it. Actually, let's just do build X. Let's just see what happens. Like, uh, yeah, let's see what happens. No, pr yeah, no params. Let's just see what happens. Okay. Uh, yeah, so there is something here. Unknown shorthand flag T O. Uh, I don't think we need T anymore. Who in? Thanks for the follow. Welcome. Is it not is it not a Docker command? Build X. I see. Yeah, I don't think we actually have this thing. So I, yeah, hmm. I think I'm just gonna do build uh, kind of the way that we have been going. Let's just build with our new image here um, and see what happens, yeah. I think Docker was in it, uh, oh no. Unknown, what the? I think Docker was an experimental beta state during the first two years of this explosive growth. I'm sure it was. <laughs> this looks bad. Oh no. Hopefully. Uh, oh god. Oh no. Oh, the other thing is, um, is this thing going to even? It probably won't build. It won't run on our local machine, right? Like probably not. Swear blocked, what's up? It's unraveling. It's unraveling. IP number problems? IP, what? That's what that is? Oh, I, oh, I didn't even notice that. Uh, weird, okay. Hmm. Not sure. Uh, 
Okay. And then so if I do here, Docker build, and then we do, we have our image now, Docker run. Avalanchian, Groovy, Bot, 8080, 8080, uh, dash D, right? Uh, Docker run, Avalanchian, Groovy, Bot, Was it? Oh, I, I did it. <laughs> Oops. Oopsie. Driver failed programming external connectivity on endpoint. Goofy Cartwright bind for O failed port is already allocated. Yes, that does make sense. So let's delete you. Bye. Bye. Start. Okay. Looks good. Multi arc build and images in the simple way. Oh no. <laughs> okay, for example, we're running there. Okay. So I'm going to have multiple document rooms, each supporting a different architecture behind the same tag. Docker image inspect reverse slim buster. Okay. I'm going to have to save this. Yes. I'm going to have to save that. Um, I do. Okay. Cause I do have to start heading out. I want to actually make sure. Let's make sure this thing actually works. Uh, and then I just want to try to see if this image. Oh, oh I spelled localhost wrong. I want to see if the we can at least put the image on the Raspberry Pi uh, and get that thing working. Yeah. Okay. So then now we can just do Docker push. Try one more time. And then bring it down on our Pi and, and go from there. Hey, Kitana, just curious, what's the benefit of Docker Raspberry Pi for a Tesla? Uh, yeah, so pretty much what's happening is um, the the whole point of this is we are trying to set up a RTMP server, which is a way for us to send video from the Tesla to the Raspberry Pi. The Raspberry Pi will then take that video content and stream it directly to Twitch for us uh, through some, some server stuff. The way that we're setting up, we're going to have multiple different servers, so the way that we're setting up all these servers on um, on a Raspberry Pi is using Docker, Docker containers. So that is the reason why we have a Raspberry Pi, Docker living on it, and where the Tesla comes in. Um, so today's stream was more of a proof of concept stuff um, and just learnings on how, how this stuff can work. But I think I have a pretty good understanding of it now. All right, so let's pull this image one more time. We'll go from there. With an FM MPEG transcode? Uh, I don't know. I'm not sure yet. I haven't gone that far. <laughs> yeah, Codex, I, I would love any of your input. Um, I literally have just like, this is a fourth day of us doing this. But yeah, essentially, I'm trying to figure all this out. Um, all I know is at this point, we can pretty much do um, GoPro cameras on the car stream via rtmp to the raspberry pi and that's kind of all i'm all i'm at right now so trying to understand now that we once we get the video feed to that thing how do we go ahead and actually um how do we go ahead and, and take that video and now start adding other stuff to it like overlays or like i don't know how can we do it efficiently i i'm not sure so um yeah that's awesome man that sounds really cool Hey, thanks, Katana. I appreciate that. The Docker container is your oyster. Yes. Ish. That it is. All right. Let's, uh, let's see all our images first. Uh, okay, cool. Oh, this was even smaller. Beautiful. So we can do Docker R RMI, right? And then it was, oh, they have the same ID though. 
Will that remove the latest as well? Probably, right? Wait a second. None? How can I delete that thing? It can be real difficult to get it right depending on what you want to do. I see. Huh. Yeah, well, yeah, that's that's going to be something that we're going to have to look into as well once we start getting to that point. Uh, remove all images? Oh, Docker image prune. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. I, I just want to remove all the images. Uh, why is this still here? What? You have to be careful with the uh, Linux distros? Okay. Good to know. Transcoding on a Pi isn't going to work unless you use the hardware codec for it. Maybe I think. Hmm. Oh, you did worse? Hell yeah. Beautiful. It's good to know. Yeah, no, I know they're different. Uh, this is an image, no? This is this pulled back an image, so I'm trying to remove this thing. Uh, right? Or did I do the wrong command before? Uh, Victor, Victor removed all, all images. Yes. Did I do containers? Delete every Docker image. Yes. Oh. What, what did I run before? I did Docker image prune though. You have over 100k pixels? My god. <laughs> nice. Oh, if it's being used. Oh, I see. Is it being used right now? Yes, good call. Okay, so then this is Dr. Image or Dr. RM Crazy Einstein, right? And then we can do Okay, and then we can do Dr. Image Prune, right? There it is. Okay, nice. Okay, okay. Now now we got it. Now we got it. I didn't realize it was it was being being used. Okay, now we can pull the latest. Let's eat some fire Indian food. Ooh. Just realized I didn't make my breakfast for this morning. Rip man. I always gotta make it the night before. Pixel Queen, yes, I love it, Royce. <laughs> All right, here we go. So now we do docker run dash P. We're going to open up port 8080 to point to port 8080. Uh, dash D, Adelantian, Groovy bot. All right, docker container up and running. Uh, then we can just do docker logs, right? Docker logs, Adelantian, Groovy bot. <laughs> what? Did I spell? Oh no. Did it not, not work? Okay, it says it's, it's up. 
Oh, I had to do uh, youthful, youthful whatever, right? Hey! Holy crap! We got a we got a bot running. We got this server, no JS server, running on our Raspberry Pi. So now, uh. You don't need to port definite because it's set in your uh, Docker file to expose it. Yeah, but what if I need, like, on the actual Raspberry Pi, don't you need to expose that as well if you want to access it? Am I wrong? What's up, EchoCraft? You can toss the commands into a make file so you don't have to remember them. Yeah, that's a great idea. Good call. Tab completion, yes. You're doing that and well so when i did it when i ran on my mac before if i didn't point when i did docker run and i didn't point my local host port 8080 to 8080 in the docker file it 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 won't let me access it no worries renary thanks for being here appreciate you Yeah, so one running, right, exactly. That's that's what I thought. So like if I did ping localhost eighty eighty. Uh oh. I don't know if this actually like th is this a thing that will work? Uh I guess it's just not a ping. I don't I guess at this point I'm not sure. Yeah, I was going to say, like, I don't think ping is really going to work, right? So we do know that this thing is up. We do know it's running. Um, oh, I guess I can do a curl command. Yeah, curl. Okay. Oh, uh, so we just got the, the Docker, Docker image on the Pi, and it's working now. Um, Yag. So we haven't actually done the RTMP stuff yet. Uh, I wanted to get something running on the Pi with Docker, and we've got that going. Uh, let's just curl localhost 8080, right? Let's go. You see that right there? You see that right there? Right there. Ooh -wee. Right here. Localhost 8080. Hello from GroovyBot. We in this. Oh, 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 oh. So, what if I did this? I really want to try this now. So, if I did pixel, if I did curl pixel pi dot local port 8080. <laughs> Yo, let's go right there. So, this is on our actual local machine. Uh, not inside our Pi. This is just on our actual Mac. We went into the Pixel Pi local port 8080, and there's our server. There's our bot right there. What are you? What are you guys all complaining about here? It's not RMTP. It's RTMP, real time messaging protocol. Yeah, Yag, yeah, take that. Boom. Get out of here. <laughs> Get out of here. God, finally. My God. All right. <laughs> uh, Sophie, thanks so much for that follow. Welcome to the team. Appreciate you being here. Uh, all right. We did it. We got... So, we did some good stuff. We did some good stuff today. We got the... Uh, wow. We got the Docker container... Uh, we got Docker set up on the Pi. We set up our very first node Docker server. We created a Docker file. Um, we deployed it to Docker Hub. We pulled it. Oh, we, we got it working on an ARM chipset as well. And then what else? What else? We were able to access the, uh, we we're able to access the server from outside or from another machine on the same network, which is fantastic. So a lot of lot of good stuff to get around Docker and and our servers. So for the next time, what we're going to want to do is 
now actually put our RTMP server on the Pi. And yeah, our, our container pretty much and go from there. Wow. Tons of stuff. Yeah, I know. I messed up the command. Rip. <laughs> and you learn about, uh, re about what to research. Yes. Yes, Codex. Thank you for your help. It's a great man. So much, so much craziness going on in Docker land today. That was a lot of fun. We have a lot of stuff to do. I think for the rest of the week, what I'll be doing is setting up my uh, node servers on here. So we'll be ready to go. I'll be very familiar with it. And we'll be good to go. Uh, Man K, thanks for the follow. Did you document? Uh, yeah, I think so. I I got some stuff here. We got a good amount of thoughts on today's uh, today's Docker's learnings. Um, oh, I guess for another learning we should add here. Uh, we realized that we will need to add, need to build things for ARM because Raspberry Pi is ARM based. And yeah, for this, we can do, uh, there is a fancy new build x command apparently that builds for multiple architectures yeah i spelled that completely wrong just like that thanks for answering that words yeah um for sure i think this is this is pretty good what else uh trying to think if we did anything else kind of in this vein um i think that's that's pretty pretty good honestly we had a pretty pretty solid workflow here so it'll be good to go for next time and again i'll be working on a lot of this stuff throughout the week so hopefully we'll, we'll be good to go but folks thank you all for hanging out today I appreciate you all being here and being part of the stream today um if you are new to the channel and you liked what you saw, we'd love to have you back. Please drop a follow. Uh, I'm here three times a week doing programming streams. Starting August 15th, we are going to be uh, doing our very first podcast style stream called The Saturday Stand-Up. Can't wait to, to get it started with you all. We're going to have guests come on the show to talk about a lot of really great stuff. So if you want to be notified about that, follow the channel um, and also join our Discord. Really awesome community of people where you can showcase your projects, hang out with all of us in chat, see what's going on, um, and just in, enjoy dev another dev community if you're interested. Uh, so thanks for being here. Folks, at the end of every stream, I always love, I love, love, love throwing a nice little raid to some people, um, especially passing on Tim's awesome raid today. Let's, uh, let's see who's out there in the world of programming for us. Timeless in the cappuccino. It's not gonna be a waste, it's supposed to be fun. What the hell? That's the old point, man. <laughs> What's up, Carthax? Yeah, sorry. Uh I gotta head out. This is time to, to get to work. Sorry that you missed our stream today. Appreciate you being here though. Uh who I like usually rating like small, smaller streamers. Um, I'm trying to see who is on today in the programming community. Someone we've never rated before. See you, Canadian. Thanks for hanging out. Appreciate you being here. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Oh man. Let's see who we got. Yeah. All right, I got a cool one. Building Twitch app with React and Elixir. Next time I'll be streaming so you can raid me. <laughs> Sounds good, Coder's Life. <laughs> Just go throw that out there. By the way, you can raid me next time. Folks, don't forget to grab their main message. The raid message we're going to be raiding join join combo
joincombo.com. Looks like a fun stream, a good time. He has three viewers right now. So this should be a nice, uh, a nice surprise. Poggers. Yes, fun stream auction. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for all the help today, friend. Thank you all for all the help. Learned so much. Appreciate all your smartness in the chat. Anyways, enjoy the stream. I will see you all here. Same time, same place. Mañana en la mañana with for some gravy development. Enjoy the raid. Let's show this man some love. Peace, everybody. Have a good one.